It is V from V Love and Crystals. Today we're doing a pick card reading on who is your muse. And this was a suggestion from the lovely soulful artist who I like to collaborate with. So thank you so much for the suggestion. If you are new, please subscribe. I post a pick, pick a card reading every single morning. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fun. And now let's get started. So we have Paul 1, Paul 2, Paul 3. Everything's gonna be linked below as well as all the decks that I'm using. So figure out what your muse is and let me know who that is in the comments. Leave in a cute little emoji. So the first one we have the hands, little hands here. And we also have hands on this deck. The second one we have this cute little flower, flower with little um, rhinestones in it. It kind of matches this. I didn't even plan it that way. I just wanted something elegant, but didn't realize that they would match. And then we have the butterfly over this. Kind of goes well together. Look at that, that's funny. All right, so let's get started. Um, take some time to meditate with yourself and connect with your higher self so you can choose the best intuitive option. And I'll see you over in the piles. Take your time if you need to. If you need to pause the video, go right ahead. You chose this hand with the vision. So the eyes and the hand. If you would like to exchange energy for energy with me, I would love it. I do have the join button right next to my subscribe button. And if you don't prefer that, I do have Patreon as a second option. All the links are down below. And I thank you for your channel support. It keeps the fun train going and the pick cards. All right, in the first position we have, who is your muse? The energy that your muse brings to you. The second one is what your muse's purpose purpose is the third one is what you need to know I'm sorry not what you need to know what can you look forward to working with your muse this is first piece of advice from your muse and second piece of advice so the first one is who is your muse we have play oh so your muse is someone who wants to inspire you to be more playful the playful the youthful tap into your youthful side that's what I'm getting um, yeah, bringing out the fun, the fun, not so serious side. The fun, uh, let's let's just pick up and go and, and explore life and, and ask questions later side. <laughs> I'm also getting, do, do, be adventurous. Dive into the ocean and see what you find. Um, so this muse is basically asking you to tap into your your more like careless, free-spirited side of you, for sure. Maybe you've lost part of that that happy, bubbly, uh, not wor like worry less side of yourself. You know, maybe it's saying, "No more worries. Time to stop worrying. Stop trying to control everything." And sometimes that you know gets the best of us. We try to control everything. We lose our playful side. And, and then things don't turn out the way we want them to and then all of a sudden that's it we're, we're just worrying so much and we're just yeah it's, it's a buzz kill right we don't need any any buzz kills so time to tap into your creative and playful side so in the second position we have is the nature card here and the nature for me is like um a reminder of you getting back into grounding yourself you becoming one with nature your muse is probably someone who's very um connected with the earth so someone who's connected with the earth and someone very playful i'm getting like a fairy like a fairy <laughs> like a fairy muse and you know i'm not too familiar with muses to be honest so when this topic was brought to my attention i'm like yes sign me up i want to learn i want to learn all there is to know about muses and i'm learning right now so this is, this is really interesting. So I'm getting like a fairy type of energy. We have playful, we have nature here. So maybe somebody who uh, the energy wants you to dabble into, you know, connecting more with the earth, grounding yourself, working with herbs, yada, yada, yada. Maybe organic food, whole foods. Um, I, like, I like this energy. So maybe who wants you to get into gardening, planting your own stuff growing your own crops, your own plant, well, beautiful flowers, etc. Um, and I'm also getting creation again. 
gardening, creation, nature, nurture, playful. This is very, this, this vibe is very like uplifting, very youthful also. Now what you can look forward to with your muse, how you're going to work together, we have fate. So you guys, you and your muse, you and this energy, you're meant to work together. So this, this muse of yours, this energy, this is meant to help you tap into your youthful side. Your, your, this is like the peanut butter to your jelly. You're, you're meant to, you're meant to um, connect with the source. Destiny, yes. And move forward in the right direction together. So you're in, I think your inner muse, your inner muse is someone who wants you to step into the bright side, into the wild, nature-y side of, of yourself fate maybe you have a bigger purpose by doing so your first advice here is oh independence that's what i'm saying helping you step into your the lighter side the brighter side the wilder side be more playful so maybe your your muse is, is seen sensing that you are stuck stuck to something or not stuck in a sense but more like Maybe you're in an energy that's stagnant, you know, like whether you're in a relationship or a career or a hobby or a job, yeah, career, job, that is not serving your purpose. And this is, this muse is saying to, you gotta swim out of that, like the dolphin, swim out of it, get back to nature, get back to basics, get back to how things used to be back when you were first born, <laughs> you know, or become one with the earth. And then independence, break free, for sure. Let's see what the second piece of advice. Do courtesy of your muse, independence, break free, break the the mold that's you know confining you. If you're in in this little mold and you're not able to grow out of it and flourish out of it, then it's saying break that mold. Goodbye, goodbye old ways. Hello new ways. And then the second piece of advice is claim your territory. So in other words, find your territory. First, find what it is. Independence. You ready to roll out, pumpkin? You ready to go out and, and face the waves coming towards you? You ready to face your fears and claim your territory? See wild. See what I'm saying? Wild. We just talked about stepping into your wild side, your free spirit side. And look what we get. The claim. Look. Claim your territory, this wild cat. But first, you need to find out what this territory is. Maybe it's a new spiritual endeavor, like you trying out um, tarot or you working with, you closely working with your higher self or, um, I don't know, working with herbs. We have nature here, crystals, whatever the earth births, crystals, flowers, all that good stuff. Maybe it's telling you to work with that closely. All right, that's what I have for you. Thank you for being here. And pile number one. Please leave some beautiful dolphins down below. Uh, some dolphin or pumpkins, whichever you prefer, in the comments to let me know that you chose this pile. Thank you so much again for watching, and now we're on to pile number two. Pile number two, thank you for your patience. All right, let's get started. If you are new, thank you for joining me. Let's get into your muse's energy. The first position is exa who exactly is your muse, the energy around your muse. We have the gatekeeper. All right, the gatekeeper is present. So this is the protector. This is the, the guardian, the guide, the savior, the hero, the knight in shining armor. So your muse is like... A, yeah, someone who's there to guide you on your path. Someone who's hel helping you stay focused. Someone who helps you realize that you have the key within inside of you. Look, you have this big hole around, like, our, in, look, this big, uh, what's it called, doorway behind you. And you are the key. So you are the gatekeeper. You have the key. You hold the key. So your muse is basically here to help you unlock doors. Your, your muse is here to help you awaken and see. See the doors before you. See the options you have. Protection also. Your protector. 
and it could be that this is your energy. I think you have the muse within you. So you are the protector. Maybe you're the person that people go to, go to for assistance, for protection. So that is the energy that we're working with, your muse. Wow, I like that energy. I like it. The second position is what you need to know about your muse. And we have the Baroness. Ooh. To me, this is like the warrior. To me, this is the fighter. To me, this is the mysterious, hidden force inside of you. Wow. <clears throat> so, your muse is someone who's very, very strong, and she's spiritual, she's mysterious, and she's very powerful. And that's what I'm saying, like you have the key within you. So, if you're looking for answers, you have it inside. The gatekeeper answers you have the answers you're keeping your answers you don't need to use divination tools or anything like that you have it within you all you have to do is ask yourself your muse wants to remind you of your strength your courage your power the next position oh, wow i'm learning a lot about muses today i don't even know the names of different types of muses, muses to be honest i'm learning as we go first time i'm ever doing this collab or this uh, i'm not, not a collab this uh topic the third one is what you can look forward to working with your muse. And we have the hero. Now, I kept seeing this the hero card come out. It came out three times. No, twice. It came out in the hero, um, heroism. It's in here. It popped out a few times. I don't know if you can tell while I was shuffling. But so many cards came out. But the ones that kept coming out was the same thing. Hero, hero, hero. So I feel that's what I'm saying, protector. Your like your muse is your protector, your protection shield, protective shield. Um, so you're you're be yeah you're being watched, you're being guided. This is beautiful. You have this strong energy right here supporting you, guiding you. And you have this and then this. So that's really am amazing. So maybe you're maybe you're needing assistance right now. Maybe you're needing guidance right now. Maybe you're needing that you know a protective bubble around you so you know em envision yourself around positive uh vibes like be protect you you have this or not pretend no but actually set the intentions of this big protective bubble around you say muse help me create this big protective board border this boundary this shield around me keep me safe keep me safe safety safety the muse of safety, that's what I'm getting. Now your first piece of advice, courtesy of your muse, we have the scattered. Wow, so that says a lot to me, right? So <clears throat> we're scattered, so we're all over the place. That's what I'm saying. We need to bring ourselves into that protective bubble. Gather ourselves, gather our thoughts, gather everything that we wanted to achieve. Bring it, bring it close to home, bring it, bring it home. Close up on it. Make it tighter. Close up your, your circle. Seal your circle. That's what I'm getting with this. We're all over the place. We need to bring it, bring it, bring, bring it into a full circle, protective circle. Um, and this can also mean that you're, you're like all over the place. You're not, you, there's like loopholes. There's loopholes. There's like stuff coming through. Like maybe toxic people coming through. They're finding a little crack, a little hole, a little fault, and they're trying to make their way through. And your, your muses are trying to seal, trying to like close that seal so that no, nothing negative comes through. Or those energy vampires come seeping through the cracks, right? So time to make things a little tighter. So in other words, keep yourself, your energy, your space clean. Use your sage, your crystals, your palo santo, your essential oils, whatever, your herbs and try to seal up the cracks <laughs> so nothing comes through. And then the, the last piece of advice is, oh, freedom awaits. That's a beautiful ending. So if you're, if you're trapped, if you're confined in something, wow, so this is like saying, okay, tighten up your bubble, stay protected, close out loose ends, and um, tie your, tie your, or tie your, 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 your T's, I'm sorry, cross your T's, dot your I's, and then, you know, take care of business, and then once the storm passes, then you can let go of your shield a little bit, let loose a little bit, 
freedom awaits. You're able to come out of that protective bubble once the storm passes you by and doesn't phase you. <laughs> once that tower moment is gone, then you can come out and you can see the sun again. Freedom awaits. All right, so it could just be that you need protection right now. Something's about to go down or is still occurring and until the sun shines through, you just stay there, stay put, stay stay quiet, let things roll out, stay protected, and then once the coast is clear, come out and free free like a butterfly. So put a butterfly in, in the comments to let me know that you clicked on this reading. Thank you for being here, and now we're on to part number three. On number three, you chose the beautiful butterfly, and we it's 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 it's, it's crazy. We just ended the last reading with mentioning the butterfly. And now here we are with the butterfly. So pawn number three, we're using the goddess of power. I'm gonna have all the links links below. Thank you for being here. And if you would like to exchange energy for energy with me, I do have the join button next to my subscribe button. It's a way to give back to the channel and it helps keep the picker cards coming and you get something in return. And I also have Patreon for a second option if you don't prefer the join button and you get the same results, same tiers. All right, let's do this. All right, pile number three, we have the first position, who your muse is, the second position, what you need to know, what you can look forward to, your first piece of advice, and the last two pieces of advice cards. <laughs> All right, ready? The first one is, who is your muse? We have, oh, oh, the earth muse, Gaia, look at that. So this is, wow, you gotta check out pile number one. Pile number one also had nature. So you, this might be your additional message. So your muse has to do with nature, Mother Earth. Lovely, fruitful, earthy vibes I have here for you. So it could be that your, your muse wants you to connect more with nature. Your, your muse wants you to be more creative when it comes to uh, things that the Earth births like crystals and, and herbs and flowers and, and produce, like all that good stuff. Maybe you need to nourish your body. Maybe your muse is here to tell you to start getting back to eating healthier, making healthier choices, eating more vegetables. Not saying to go vegan or just uh, be a vegetarian. It's just saying maybe incorporate more vegetables, you know? Maybe we have too much, too much of other stuff and vegetables are like the last thing on your list. You know, that could be one message. The other message is to get outside more. If we're in four doors all the time, it's time to see the birds do their do their work. See them whistle, and <laughs> see them sing and fly, or see the groundhog, see the, the chipmunks play and, and race after each other. See the squirrels circle around the tree looking for their, their, their mates and their acorns. So this is saying get back to nature, get back to earthy earthy um, surroundings, yeah, for sure. The second one is what you need to know about your muse. We have humor. Oh my gosh, you need to check out pile number one. This is intense. The first pile we had play and then nature, and now we have humor, play, and then nature. So it's reversed here, but it's the same as pile number one. So this is like saying you're, you need to speak, you need to speak, no, you need to uh, open your eyes, you need to, uh... yeah, your muse is present, it's saying, work with me, I'm here for your, at your disposal, let's work together, humor, take, don't take things seriously, be more lighthearted, free-spirited, spontaneous, uh, fix, fix your surroundings, feng shui things, Clean, cleanse up the energy so that you can, Ooh, have that nice positive outlook. And it's also saying, um, what's the word? Yeah, add more spice to your life. You know, take out things that don't serve you and incorporate that with something new. Replenish your energy. Get out and have fun. Play, play, play. Be more playful. That's what I'm getting. Your, your muse is here to remind you of that energy. The, th the third one is what you can look forward to working with your your muse. And we have compassion, Kuan Yin. Ooh, working with your heart chakra, yes. Showing that compassion, showing sympathy, showing empathy for others. Beautiful, maybe this is gonna help you tap into your more into your heart space. 
your muse is looking out for you in your heart space. Maybe this is going to help you uh, connect with those that you have forgotten, like your your you know your friends, family. Maybe you have put them on the back burner because we got so distracted with work or whatever. You know, everyday life, mundane life. So this is saying connect more to nature, connect more to your heart space, to those around you. The first piece of advice is patience. All right, if you're looking for an indicator, I don't know, if you're saying, is this ever going to work? I'm, you know, with someone. Are we ever going to move forward in a relationship? Or I'm at a job and I feel like I've been in the same position for years. Am I going to move up in the, in the ladder, in the field? Am I going to get a raise? It's saying patience. Just wait a little bit. Just a little bit more of a waiting period. But if you're patience, I mean patient, you might get that big fat old bug. It's going to crawl into your web. Okay, and for the last part of your advice, we have have a humble heart. So humility, have humility in your heart. Um, silence, silence, go, silence is golden. Um, if we're always arguing, if we're always having to defend ourselves or having to talk back <laughs> or... Um, if we're always feeling like we have to have the last word or make a statement. It's saying just just be quiet. Quiet quietness or um, silence is even louder than actual words. Silence says a lot. So um, the other token is yeah, just imagine you having the last word and the person wants the last word and you guys are going back and forth, back and forth, trying to argue your case. No, nothing's going to get resolved, but if you, if you just be very, very still and quiet and just let them keep talking to you, they're going to go around in circles, they're, they're going to be talking and ar arguing with themselves, and you're going to be the person that takes the higher road. You're going to have the ball in your court. So yeah, humility, humbleness, yes, yeah, stay humble, stay quiet. We don't always have to vocalize ourselves, you know? Sometimes we, there's a place and time for us to speak. And then other times where we're just like, whatever. I'm just going to let you speak by yourself and make a fool out of yourself. <laughs> and then you have the upper hand. Anyway, so this is saying just be still, be quiet. See, there's nothing here. There's no blurbs in this um, paper. <clears throat> just be quiet, be still, be humble. And that's what I have for you. Your muse is basically saying, just right now, there's nothing that needs to be said. Just observe. Be more observant. Or observing. And come from a, a lighter place, lighter heart. And this can also mean new beginnings upon you. Something's going to change. All right, that's what I have. You have a lovely day. Check out tomorrow's pick a card, and I'll catch you in the next video. Also, don't forget to put your spider down in the comments to let me know that you chose this reading.